You know, maturing as a black person means three things. It means, A, you realize that being raised by a single mom is not what you're supposed to do. And you realize that two people were right all along. Jaguar right and Candace Owens. Jaguar Wright's crazy. Jaguar Wright accuses all these rich and powerful people of shit. Jaguar Wright seems to be right. More importantly, I ain't never heard of nobody telling her to shut the fuck up. Never heard of nobody suing her for defamation of character. I've never heard of a gag order. I've never heard of a cease and desist. I could be wrong, but this lady's still running her mouth every chance she get. You know why? I think she's right about all of this shit. All these people who she say need to be charged. Uh, Mary J. Blige, uh, Jay-Z, uh, Usher, uh, Clive Davis, the list goes on of all these people who Jaguar right to talk shit about, and I refuse to keep believing that this lady is crazy because the diddler has been diddling and won't stop diddling. They called the shit Puffy's Flavor Camp. The Flavor Camp, nigga? It's strange to say that I love kids because of the times we live in. Niggas like Puffy are the reasons why a man like me can't just be like, yo, I love kids. They're hilarious. They think about it in a ditty ass way because of niggas like this. But it ain't just because of niggas like this. It's because of the adults from my parents' generation refuse to shut the shit down. The adults from my parents' generation would sell their kids into God knows what. You can't tell me Aaliyah's parents ain't dead wrong. I would love, love, love to talk to Aaliyah's father, Aaliyah's mother, Usher Raymond's father, Usher Raymond's mother, Justin Bieber's father, and Justin Bieber's mother. I would love to talk to these people because why in God's name would you allow your child to be whisked off by these strangers in Hollywood for some money? Do you know that in Usher's case, his parents signed over legal guardianship to Diddy for an extended period of time? Do you know that in Justin Bieber's case, Usher Raymond had legal guardianship of Justin Bieber for some reason and then signed it over to Diddy for an extended period of time for the flavor camp? So they can go buck full crazy. Full buck crazy. I don't think about this stuff all the time because it enrages me. It enrages me how much you people prey on children. As far as Candace Owens is concerned, I was one of those people who thought she was some Uncle Tom ass nigga until you realize that Uncle Tom wasn't even the bad guy. Read the goddamn book. Y'all know I speak English, Spanish, and facts. And Candace Owens is quite fluent in the third. Tell me something she said that was wrong. Tell me something she said that was wrong. So this woman right here is currently in Tunisia. And do you know what's happening right now? Her late husband's funeral. I'm going to read to you what she said during this post. <clears throat> so today is my husband's funeral, which unfortunately I cannot make because obviously I am busy here in Tunisia. I would have loved to have gone. We were together for 17 years. Unfortunately, he did decide to die on me the week I had planned to come on holiday. So, so I didn't make the decision not to go because I know I need a holiday at the end of the day. Well, you know, at the end of the day. My holiday is way more important than sitting in some church watching people cry. 17 years. I would love to give him a good send off. So I'm going to get absolutely drunk tonight with my new guy. With my new guy that I met. And I'm going to raise a glass for you, Jeremy, because you were an amazing husband. Very rich. I can't wait to do the will reading when I'm home. I've made sure. I have made sure I'm going to be. I have made sure I'm going to be home in time to do the will reading because I would not mess that up for the world. Because obviously I am due to get a lot of money. And that is very, very important to me. Love you, and all good things come to an end. 17 years. 17 years, and this bitch couldn't even go to the funeral. 17 years. And that's how she talks about the man once he's in the dirt. He not even in the dirt yet. He going in the dirt. And this is how you talking about this man. You already out with your new...
In other news, you see this happy couple? He's not the father. He's not the father. Yeah. He's guys, it's 2024. Get a DNA test. I don't know the exact statistics on how many men are raising other men's children unknowingly. But men, please get the DNA test. Please. I don't care if you've been married for years. I don't care how happy y'all are. Ladies, don't take it as an insult. He gives you peace of mind all the time. Just give him peace of mind with the DNA test. You already at the hospital. This bill high as hell. You might as well get the DNA test. What's the extra little on top of that? I met a supporter named Kev, uh, and his story is quite interesting, man. Kev from Detroit, and his baby mama ain't shit. But he tried to make it work, put her through nursing school and shit. But eventually, you know, he got custody, and him and the kids moved to Vegas. He brought her out there eventually, and he was like, man, I was simping. And I was like, bro, you ain't simping. You was trying to make your family work. It's never really simping when you're trying to make your family work. You know what I'm saying? After being out there for a little while, she decided... She just wanted to kidnap the kids one day. So she just took them out of the state. He couldn't find them at all. And 12 wouldn't even help him. Because you know why? Nobody wants to imagine a mom kidnapping her kids. Nobody ever wants to imagine a mom doing anything terrible. But this man had custody for, for God knows how long. And now she gets a wild hair up her ass. She's like, I'm finna just take him. He had to spend over 60 grand over the next few years to get his kids back. Because he had to start with a private investigator. Because once again, 12 wouldn't even help. But we tell you this story to tell you, gentlemen, if you're a single dad, just being a good single dad, file for custody. You don't even have to put her on child support. Just file for custody. Because had bro had filed for custody, 12 would have had to help him out. 12 would have had to file uh, kidnapping charges if she didn't bring him back. But since he didn't have that exact paperwork, he was just, you know, being a good dude. I would like to thank everybody for their support. But more importantly, I would like to address the moist gentlemen who constantly hop in my chat every time I go live on YouTube. Because, you know, on YouTube, you can be a little more unfiltered with your extremely negative comments. And at the end of the day, you're a very moist man if you hop in, in my chat still upset about the Fresh and Fit interview or the Saint and Sinner interview. You're moist, fam. But... I understand. I'm an empath by nature. You know, I have a great deal of empathy for moist men. Because, you know, it's not natural for a man to be moist between the knees and the cheeks. And at the end of the day, you're cranky every single day for one of a couple of reasons. A, you wake up to a wet spot every single day. You know why? You're moist, fam. So you got to change your sheets every single day. You got so much laundry every week because you got to change your sheets every single day because you're moist. Or you sleep on plastic. But if you sleep on plastic, you hear that all night long. Man's ain't got a good night's sleep since 1998. So I understand you're moist and you're cranky. And at the end of the day, moist energy in a man breeds hatred. So if your moist energy causes you to come to my chat to talk shit to me, that means you're probably not harming a small animal that day or you're probably not committing essay against some nice lady. So please believe I can take it. It's OK. I understand. But thanks to your behavior, we now have a new word for you. You're moist, fam. It's perfect. It's the perfect way to describe somebody. Because at the end of the day, you can call somebody moist at work and not get fired. You can call somebody moist at school. It's the perfect thing to call a man that you really want to just get under his skin. Because what is moist? Good cake and good pussy. Please believe, if you got a coworker at work who just a bitch-made nigga, Call him moist, fam. If your son got some little smart mouth chump ass kid at school who's just picking on him because I don't know, maybe he got two dads at the house and he don't know how to he don't know how to process that shit. Call him moist, fam. What's your name, man?